Welcome to the University of Florida College of Medicine ultrasound module. Today we're going to do the renal module. You will learn how to evaluate renal anatomy and renal size using ultrasound and you're going to be able to visualize urine flow into the bladder using Doppler. So the kidneys are retroperitoneal organs and they lie in an oblique plane compared to the other planes. The left is more superior than the right and their size is range anywhere from 9 to 13 centimeters long by 5 centimeters wide. Here you can see a, an anatomy um, of the kidneys in situ and you can see the relationship between the major vessels, the aorta, the inferior vena cava uh, and the suprarenal glands. So in detail you can see that you have the cortex, the, the medulla, the renal pelvis, uh, the calyces and the collecting system leading to the ureters. But uh, when we look at our ultrasound, our image, um, this is a good relationship of that orientation. But um, the image on the actual ultrasound machine is going to be a little bit rotated, so we're going to look at it this way. And if we think about definitions and uh, descriptions, we can talk about the renal cortex being um, slightly hypoechoic if we compare it to the liver tissue. There's a the liver there. And the medullary uh, pyramids are going to be slightly hypoechoic related to the cortex, while the collecting system is going to be hyperechoic. We'll review that later. And as, as a review of anatomy, we're going to identify the renal pelvis, Grotus fascia, the renal calyces, along with the medullary pyramids. Remember they're hypoechoic. Let's highlight them there. And the renal cortex. And part of the renal anatomy must include the ureters and the bladder. And in this image we see a normal kidney measuring 13 centimeters by 3.8. In the lab today, you're going to be acquiring basically three windows. You're going to be doing a kidney in the coronal view, a kidney in the transverse view, and the bladder in the transverse view. We're going to be using the curvilinear probe at the mid axillary line with our indicator pointing towards the patient's head. So, orientation, so it might be a little bit confusing. Your probe is on the top part of the screen in your near field. So if we orient the patient towards the image, maybe you'll understand a little bit better. If not, don't worry about it too much. You have the lateral side, the medial side. Lateral is where you place your probe and you have your indicator pointing towards your head. So that correlates with that dot on the screen and that tells the you head. that the head, that the head is going to be on the left side of the screen and the feet on the opposite side. Here we have a generalized view that includes all of the anatomy in that quadrant, the hepatorenal space, the kidney, the liver, the spine. We'll talk about it in detail during the lab. So we're going to sweep up and down so we can visualize all of the anatomy. Remember the image on the screen is about 1.5 millimeters in thickness, so you really need to sweep up and down so you get the full view. For the transverse, you're going to rotate your probe counterclockwise about 90 degrees, the indicator towards the bed, and you, you're going to be seeing this image. Your probe is on the lateral side, medial side, the anterior and the posterior, and you know your indicator is pointing down. You have some skinum subcutaneous, the liver, rotus fascia with the paranephric fact, and the kidney. And this is the image uh, that will appear on your screen. Now let's switch sides, left kidney coronal, indicator towards the head. The difference is here is that you have less of a window because the kidney is more superior and hiding kind of behind the ribcage and sometimes the stomach may obscure the view. But this is the image you should be getting. Again, we are sweeping up and down so we are able to visualize all of the anatomy. You see the spleen on the left side of your screen and the kidney. Left kidney transfers, indicator is going to be pointing upward. Head is over there, feet are down here, and um, 
you should be able to visualize the structures. We're going to quickly review the kidney, spine, and the anatomical orientation. For the bladder, you want to put your probe over the suprapubic area, and you're going to tilt downwards just a, just a bit, and you're going to be able to visualize the bladder, your indicator towards the left. That's going to be the right side of the patient. But you, de you do see that um, cube structure or square, and in this case, the area underneath the bladder is the prostate gland. Here we see urethral jets. Um, this is definitely flow from both sides of the ureters into the bladder. You see the left one, the right one, indicating that there's good flow uh, from the kidneys. We'll see later that you do have an obstruction. You're going to be missing these jets. So in the lab today, you were able to visualize the renal anatomy, take measurements of a kidney, look at the bladder, see urine flow from the kidneys into the bladder as well as some uh, anatomical structures that are adjacent to the kidneys. Thank you for your time.